Hi there, welcome to my channel. The nice people at Creative sent over this Super x Fi Air Gamer hybrid headset to my channel for a review. So I've actually had my eye on this thing for a little while, so I couldn't refuse and accepted to review it. From the start though, to be transparent, this is the most expensive headset that I've ever featured on my channel and it retails for $150. Also, this is gonna be a little bit longer than my usual videos because I test this thing extensively and I have timestamps located down below for those of you out there who wanna jump to specific sections Besides the unboxing, I'll be testing this out on an iMac, a PS5, and a Nintendo Switch. But first, let's get to the rest of this really nice packaging. So this is Creative's middle to higher end headset and it boasts a ton of features. So first off, it's a hybrid, so it uses both Bluetooth for wireless and a wired connection that uses 3.5 millimeter cables or USB. So it's compatible with a huge variety of platforms. For those interested, pause right here to see all of the specs. But a few things that I want to highlight is that it has a battery life of up to 11 hours and a comes with a nano boom mic, so I'm expecting some very good things from that microphone. With that, Creative is really proud of their Super x Fi technology that's built into this headset and a few of their other headsets, and it's actually award-winning. Their Super x Fi technology won 23 Best of CES awards in 2019 and 2020, and to kind of paraphrase what that is, it's their surround sound feature, and I've tinkered around with it for a little while, and it's really impressive. So moving on to the unboxing, it's really pleasant so far, I like all of the little details that they've included. They have a little readme first right here. They mentioned their Super x Fi app. So if you want to customize the volumes or customize the profiles, you can do that through their app. And a few things about the gaming headset itself. There's the on button and the source button. And I did not know this, but it actually has a touchpad, which is on the left ear cup. So you can raise the volume, switch music, answer phone calls. However you want to use this headset with whatever device, there is a touchpad on the left-hand side. But so far, the presentation within this packaging is really nice. Everything seems pretty premium. You can see all the little cables that comes within this box and the nano boom mic is located right below that. So here are all of the included cables. It comes with a USB-C to USB-C and I believe it has some sort of Kevlar lining on the outside so it's really rugged. Here is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So that's a nice little add-on for those who want to use it with a Nintendo Switch dock or if you have an older computer. So you just make sure to use that if you don't have a USB-C connection and a 3.5mm millimeter cable or a four conductor 3.5 millimeter cable so that ensures microphone use and there's more documentation in here probably a more thorough user guide and I'm just gonna open this up real quick and there's actually a picture of a PlayStation 5 a switch and an Xbox Series X right there so it's compatible with all of those systems and consoles so let's take a closer look at this nano boom mic and it looks really impressive I hope it sounds great can't wait to test this out and for those wondering when that test is it will be shortly after after this little unboxing portion of the video. So we're gonna test out this mic extensively, wirelessly, as well as with a wire, but so far it looks really good. So let's hope it sounds just as good as it looks. Moving on, here's the actual headset itself, and it looks fantastic. Wow, the presentation is really nice when it just comes out of this box right here. But so far it has a really clean design. So as I get this out of the plastic packaging, the right side is pretty bare, but there is an LED light on both ear cups and it's primarily used for the status of the headset, but it does stay on when the headset is turned on. So the left side is where all of the buttons and features are. So on the left side, we see the line in for the 3.5 millimeter cable, as well as the USB-C connection. Moving on, this is the source button. So that's how you activate Bluetooth as well as a micro SD card slot and the Super X5 button is right there. So that's how you initiate that mode. The power button is located on that portion. And that little nub is actually the standard microphone. So if you just want something that's a little more discreet, use that one. But if you want better quality, plug in that Nano Boom mic. And that's the one I'll be testing throughout this whole entire video. The Nano Boom mic looks really nice and everything looks pretty well put together. And taking a closer look at the ear cups, one thing that I noticed from the start is that they are very powerful. Added. On the website, it says that they use perforated protein leather and the cushion inside is memory foam. So I'm excited to try them on. But the top part where the headband is has a cool creative logo. It feels like it's wrapped in leather as well too. It has a nice soft touch. So it shouldn't be too hard on the top of your head. And here's the adjustable bands. It goes from a size one to 11, depending on how big or huge your head is. I'm probably a five, so I'll probably leave it there. But in the next segment or portion, I'm gonna try it on and here it is on live commentary. So let me actually take off that little plastic wrap that most of you are probably annoyed at by now. So we're gonna get that off real quick. 
So before I get to the actual sound test, I just want to put this on real quick. So I want this to be as unsolicited as possible, but this headset has to be the most comfortable headset I've ever tried on on this channel. Most of the time, I'm a glasses wearer. I have a very wide head. You can't tell from this perspective, but I have very wide glasses. So whenever I put on a headset and I have glasses on, it presses my glasses against my temple and it gets really uncomfortable after a long period of time. But this headset just seems to just fit right over. Doesn't press my glasses against my head or anything. As seen earlier, all of this cushion on this headset really does make a difference. It's really soft on the ears. This fits really nicely on my head. And the cool thing is, as soon as you turn this on, the power button's right here. So there's not a random USB cord dangling if you want to use these to get the LEDs or the RGBs working on this headset. All it does is you turn it on and that's how it indicates that it's actually turned on. And that's another feature that I really enjoy about this headset besides being really comfortable. So with that said, let's move on to a sound test and I'll do multiple tests on a wide variety of items. First, we're gonna start off and go to my Mac, which is right here. I'll get this set up via Bluetooth and we'll do a little sound test in place of music. And then I'll do a true wireless microphone test straight from the Mac, probably on QuickTime or whatever, I can record the video on with the audio being recorded through the headset's microphone. So let's switch over to the Mac and we'll get started. Hey, don't mind my messy desk, but I do have a screen capture going on on my Mac and we're gonna get the Bluetooth set up right here. Bluetooth preferences. So my Bluetooth is turned on the Mac. All you do is you grab the source button right here. You can see that. I'm trying to get that focused. Hold it down. And the headphone actually says down pairing mode. You can see that's blinking. And it actually popped up on the thing already. So it's right here on Bluetooth on the Mac. Just connect that. And it should be a seamless connection. Okay, now it's connected. And then we're gonna get on the Mac right here. We're gonna make the output go through here. The headphones are saying a few things, that part. So uh, let me just get this set up right now. Get this plugged in right here. The input should be right here for the headset itself. All right, I think it's working. It should work. Yeah, it's working. So we have the headset connected and I actually have my lavalier that's hooked onto me. And instead of me putting this over my head and just giving you a reaction saying, oh my gosh, these sound amazing. And you see all those videos with those sort of reviews. And to be honest, I have put these on my ears and over my head and these do sound amazing, but I'm gonna try my best to simulate me hearing this or you hearing this as closely as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unclip my lavalier. So you'll probably hear a loud snap right there. And I'm gonna put it right here in between the headset and play some music. So I'm gonna play a little audio track and let's get some music playing. And after that, I'll do a quick mic test and it'll be a true wireless mic test because this is connected via Bluetooth to my Mac. But first off, let's try to hear some music on here to see what it sounds like. Then later on, we'll try it on consoles. I know everybody's dying to see what this sounds like on a PS5 or a Nintendo Switch. So we'll get to this first and then we'll get to that shortly after. So this should make the volume go up. I do this, and it does work. You can see it on the computer screen right there. It's getting up to 68, 74. I don't hear it being distorted yet. So it seems like the touch controls actually work as well too. So that's a pretty cool thing to figure out and find out. So it sounds really good. I already listened to this in playback and it sounds amazing. You know, it doesn't truly portray what I hear, but it's pretty decent sounding. So, so let's get to the mic sound test, the wireless version, and I'll do a wired version later, of course, on the PlayStation 5 and the Switch, but let's try it out wirelessly. So don't mind the mess that's behind me, but I am using the mic right on this headset and you can hear me tap it. So you can see that right there, that it's actually working. I have to say, I've actually listened to this on playback a few times. So this is like my third or fourth test. It sounds really good for a gaming headset microphone and all of the hype they have on the box and everything for the advertisements and whatnot. It does actually hold up. It's actually really good. You can hear me talking. I'm just talking at a normal volume. This is pretty much how I sound when I stream. It sounds pretty darn good. And I give it my two thumbs up already wireless mode. So let me grab the cables that it comes with. I'm going to try this out next on the PlayStation 5. We'll do a microphone test. We'll do a sound test via a cord, probably the 3.5 millimeter cable. Then after that, I'll try it on the Nintendo Switch because it does come with a USB-C cable. And that's the primary way to connect this to a console or to a computer is through USB-C. So the cool thing is you can actually plug this in directly 
one end here, the other end into the Nintendo Switch. So I'll probably try that out with Fortnite or something on a hot mic, and we'll see what that sounds like. But so far, it sounds really good. I'm really excited for this headset. Let's move on and see if it can go on consoles and be pretty decent right there. there. So I do have the PlayStation turned on. Uh, the sound's going through the TV at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to turn on this headset right here. And I said I was going to use a 3.5 millimeter cable, which is really simple. All you do is plug it into this slot right here. Plug that in. Then you just plug in the bottom end into the PlayStation. And that's how you connect it to the PlayStation. So for those wondering, the PlayStation doesn't work with Bluetooth audio devices as of yet. So if I were to go to settings, go to accessories, and then try to connect this headset via Bluetooth. What I'll do is I'll try to get into sync mode right here. This actually said now in pairing mode. And then it actually does pop up on the PlayStation. But if you try to use it for audio output, the PS5 doesn't support Bluetooth audio accessories. So as of right now, this can't be used wirelessly on the PlayStation, which is a absolute bummer but you know it is what it is at least there's other options so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to plug this back in right here we're going to give this a test and the same test i did with the mac i'm just going to put my lavalier right here i forgot to mention that if you have a wired headset with the playstation the majority of headsets work with 3d audio on the playstation you can adjust all those things there but i have everything set to default so let's get back to apex and hear everything play Faster, faster, faster! over to um, the TV audio so that from now on everything being picked up will be through the headset microphone and my capture card will be able to get that recorded. And this is all connected to my PlayStation 5 and the microphone level is at halfway and it sounds pretty darn good so if I turn it up just a little bit this is what it sounds like when it's all the way up and then this is what it sounds like when it's all the way down so it's not quite muted yet it's just on the lowest setting on the playstation 5. here it is at halfway so essentially this is what you should hear in a party chat if i have this on and you just hear my microphone in the background or you just hear me in the background talking to my party my team whatever it is so this is what it sounds like on the playstation at about 50 percent and I know the feature, so cut it right here, and I've listened to the playback, and it sounds just as good as it did on the Mac, so it's pretty awesome. So we heard Apex Legends. It sounds really good with the 3D audio and everything. I tried my best to capture it to the fullest with my lavalier microphone, but everything you're hearing right now is through the headset microphone. So, so far on the PlayStation, via 3.5 millimeter cable, it does work really well. So my last test I'm going to do for today is this little USB-C cable right here. I'm going to plug it in directly into this headset and then to the bottom end of the switch. So I'll probably grab Sugarberry Smash's switch and then we'll have a hot chat going on in Fortnite. And that's how we'll do that microphone test. So we'll check that out coming up right the now. The best part about this headset is that it charges and it can be synced up via USB-C. So all you do is plug in the USB-C cable into that end. And then the cool thing about the Nintendo Switch is the bottom portion for the Nintendo Switch as well as the Nintendo Switch Lite uses a USB-C connection as well too. So if I plug this in directly, it says USB right there. So everything's going through the headset once again. So just a little sound test. I'm in the middle playing Animal Crossing like always. <laughs> So I'm sure everybody wants to hear me do a little microphone test. So I'm going to load up Fortnite on here. And Fortnite's one of the few games on the Switch where there's a hot chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Sugarberry Smash's Switch right here. You can see me in the camera in the background. But I'm going to get Fortnite loaded up on that, get that plugged into the Elgato, and then I'll try to do a little hot chat with myself just to see what that sounds like. So we have my Fortnite going. 
Sugarberry Smash's Fortnite going on the Nintendo Switch. And just to remind everybody, this is plugged in via USB-C straight to the Switch into my headset. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to join Sugarberry Smash's party. I'm just going to press plus, find Sugarberry Smash's name, and I'm going to join her party just to prove that everything is in live time right now. And I should be in her party right now. And as soon as my character pops up, you should see my name pop up in the lower left hand corner saying tickle your fancy's party channel and you can actually hear me on her live chat so i'm not using this lavalier anymore everything's going to be recorded straight from the hot chat on sugarberry smash switch so i'm keep pointing over there because that's where my computer is but this is what it sounds like on a hot chat with nintendo switches on fortnite so hot mics on fortnite specifically on the switch well just in general people don't have the best microphones but as you can hear this sounds just as good as it did on the playstation 5 so this could be used on a switch Lite as well too via usb-c and it sounds this good and the cool thing about this is it just doesn't have to be used in handheld mode they did include a little usb-c to usb-a adapter i showed it at the beginning of the video it just looks like a standard usb-a tip plug that in put that into the dock and you can use this on the dock as well too so that's really awesome really cool but anyway so i just wanted to test this out usb-c and it sounds really good I'm so excited that there's so many viable options with this headset so i've used it on a playstation 5 on my mac now on a nintendo switch and to do my closing statements i'll probably just load it up onto my iphone which i'm using to monitor from my new camera so i'm gonna connect this via bluetooth and then just do my closing statements from there and yeah, that's so before I start my closing statements for the final part of my review for this headset, there is one elephant in the room that I wanted to address. And that is, this headset sounds way better wired than it does wireless. Like with most headsets, especially the PlayStation Gold wireless headset, having a wire does make a big difference. But in comparison to most wireless headsets, the iMac test that I did earlier via Bluetooth actually sounded way better than most wireless headsets that I've tried in the past. But I would suggest to use a wire if you want to kind of record something, especially if you're streaming or if you're kind of trying to do some gameplay with audio commentary. But if you have no choice and you have to do it via Bluetooth, it is absolutely usable and it sounds better than most wireless headsets that I've ever tried. So with that out of the way, so I couldn't figure out how to use this microphone via Bluetooth on the iPhone. There's just some troubleshooting that to figure out in my settings. I I instead opted to grab the 3.5 millimeter cable and that's why it's plugged in right now. You can see this cable dangling from my left hand side. So I just want to say that the sound quality, like listening to music, playing games, sounds fantastic on this headset. The microphone is really great, wireless or wired. And I've mentioned this a few times throughout this whole entire video. But does the $150 price tag justify this headset? And I strongly think that it does because of the fact that this is a feature-packed headset. So if you're a PC gamer, you want to use this wirelessly, you can use it via Bluetooth. If you're a console gamer or a PC gamer as well too, who wants to use it wired, there's two other options, a 3.5 millimeter cable and a USB-C cable. Unfortunately, I'm not a PC gamer, so I can't really experience that. So my perspective is strictly from console. And the only limitation that I have on my part is that the PS5 isn't compatible with Bluetooth audio devices yet, but the day that happens, this will be my definite go-to for the PlayStation 5, and it still is whenever I don't want to use a wireless headset. So with everything said, this is a great all-around headset. I can listen to music, watch movies. I have done that a few times on my Mac, just put in a few movies here and there, and it sounded fantastic in this headset. I didn't want to test it because of copyright stuff on camera, so that's why that wasn't there, but gaming, obviously. And for me, I'll probably start using this for my editing setup on Final Cut Pro because number one, it's wireless, and number two, I can hear so much more detail with this headset. But overall, if you have the extra funds and you can cough up $150 for a headset like this, all I can say is this blows all of the budget headsets that I've ever reviewed on my channel out of the water, including the more expensive PlayStation Gold headsets that I've done countless videos for. And also, this headset feels and looks very premium, hence the $150 price tag. So with that, I highly recommend the Creative Super X-Fi Air Gamer headset, and I give it my WoW VJs LTR two thumbs up. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to check out these others. They probably popped up around that side of my face by now. And if you really liked hanging out with me today, please consider subscribing to be the first to know when I upload something new. And if you want to support the channel just a little bit more, make sure to check out that join button down below so you can see all my channel memberships and perks and maybe you'll see your name at the beginning or end of my next video. I'll see you all soon. Bye.